Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6. I'm Mark Blaine. We begin with some fun on this Friday. If you're a fan of the Bakersfield Sound, this Saturday's event at the Fox Theater should be right up your alley. The Soda Crackers are performing musical tributes to some of our local music legends. 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera spoke with the lead singer about the history of the Bakersfield Sound and what inspired the group to take up that genre. Bakersfield Sound is a subgenre of country music that was created in the 1950s here in Bakersfield. Lead singer of the Soda Crackers, Zane Adamo, says they pride themselves on presenting like a typical 1950s band. Something Adamo says makes them different from other groups. We try to just keep that spirit alive. And I love when we go play other places besides Kern County and tell people we're a Bakersfield Sound band from Bakersfield because it shows people that the town is still still have that country music tradition going. Adamo says Saturday's concert is the third in their series honoring the pioneers of the Bakersfield Sound. Performers like Eugene Phillips, Norm Hamlet, and Sonny Anglin will be in attendance on Saturday, but Adamo says one person will unfortunately be missed. Mr. Tommy Hayes, who had played both Pioneer shows with us leading up to the show we had, uh, we're having on Saturday, and he was supposed to play with us on Saturday, and I know that he'll still be here with us tomorrow in spirit, and we are going to do a special kind of honorary celebration for him. But it's not just Hayes that won't be in attendance. Late musician Larry Petrie will also be honored on Saturday. Adamo says he feels honored to have met both country legends and says he learned a lot from them. He says both Hayes and Petrie balance their home lives with their dedication to their music, something he says keeps him motivated with his own art. So whenever I feel like I've got too much on my plate, I just think about Larry, Tommy, Norm, Jimmy, anybody from that generation be like, I have nothing to complain about because those guys worked 10 times harder than I am. So it keeps me going. Based on current ticket sales, Adamo's anticipating an audience of around 400 people. He says it's those people who listen and dance to the Bakersfield sound that makes the subgenre so unique. Adamo wants people to remember that although it was created in the 50s, there are still so many songs that have yet to be discovered. You're starting to see great music in all genres and, and art in town. And Bakersfield's really going through, I think, like a renaissance in a way. Um, and I'm so lucky and I feel so happy that we're playing a small part in that. Dance general admission tickets are currently sold out. However, there are still some seated tickets available for anyone interested in attending. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the concert starts at 7 p.m. Information on tickets will be available on our website at turn 23com In downtown Bakersfield, Ruby Rivera, 23ABC News. Connecting you.